Guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Today we are racing spectator drags. I am using the Fox body. This thing has been sitting, unfortunately, since Cletus and Cars Indy. I blew out the back tires and I need to get some new tires mounted on the wheels. You can see the cords are wrapped around the rear axle here. So gonna need to cut all this crap off. Also, the battery is completely cooked which is a little frustrating because I put a brand new battery in it, but I did start it the other day, so I know the car can run, and I'm gonna have some fun with this thing. It's gonna be really cool out here. I think there's like 75 to 100 cars participating in spectator drags. I think with such a short wheelbase, I'll be able to do okay in the Fox body. With that being said, there are cars like an Audi R8, a Nissan GTR, and I know from a dig, I'm not gonna be able to beat those cars off the line. However, I should be able to corner pretty quickly and hopefully I can get paired up with somebody I can knock out, maybe go one, two, three rounds deep. I know the plan is to drive pretty aggressively. Obviously, keeping off paint with other cars is going to be the plan and just send it into the corners and have some fun. I know this car is pretty decently quick being a stock five liter, having such a short wheelbase. So once I get those new tires on there, we should do pretty all right. All right, to get this thing dialed in, Obviously you see this beautiful exhaust built by James and I coming right out the door, pushing the smoke out to the side, which is great for burnouts. It's also super loud. Uh, there's no door handle on this side, so this is how I have to get into the car. I have to leave the windows cracked, which out here in Florida is not ideal because it's definitely getting moist inside of the car. So I open it from the passenger side and then I have to crawl over. Let's see if it even has any juice for startup. Absolutely nothing. All right, so I'm gonna go get a jump box and get this thing fired up. Fired up. I'm also gonna put some new tires on the wheels and that's gonna be a little bit of a project because I've already tried doing it once, but since the tires are completely blown, I can't, I'm having a lot of trouble de-beating the tires off the wheels, even with the tire machine because the tire just folds over on itself. So I have an angle grinder, I'm gonna cut it off which isn't ideal, but it is what it is, and we're here. If I can't get them off the wheels, then I'm just gonna throw some Crown Vic wheels on there and uh, do it that way. Okay, this is what we're working with. These are what's left over of my last burnout. Obviously, the tire machine, to get this de-beaded, this isn't gonna have anything to grab onto. I've already tried. I got it off the front side of this wheel, but I just can't get it to grab off this one. So. This one definitely just gonna have to grind each side off and peel them off, but got plenty of tires. Gonna slap some on there and let's do this. Oh, we're using this angle grinder. Freaking 12 bucks from Harbor Freight. Talk about a deal. What a difference getting some new meats on the back does. These Nittos look so good on this car. The offset's perfect on these wheels. 255, 5017s. They are the NT555s by Nitto. All right, let's fire this thing up. Get it moved. I haven't tried to put it into gear yet, but here we go. Reverse is no longer in this transmission, so I gotta pull into anywhere I'm gonna be pulling out of. Gonna put a little 
fuel in her. Just one or two gallons she'll do. test drive down the street bogged real hard and first so luckily I have nitrous for that and it's overheating quite bad so I'm gonna wait for it to cool down and top off the radiator and then go park it in field and just uh, let it be dude you can't lie it sounds pretty dang good dude, race car all day. <laughs> how did this pass tech well I went around it Oh, <laughs> all right, cool. Five bucks in the back door kind of deal. Exactly. Got a little bit of rain on the way, but that's all right. It'd be nice to cool everything off. Here's some of the lineup. This is a ZR1. Oh, good for this guy. Wow, things are sick. Round one against the Jetta, I got the W. Poor guy, he stalled out on the line, but I still did a good pass and just went for it. I wanted to get it comfortable with the track. And uh, next, I'm either up against this brand new ZR1, or I got what looks like a Monte Carlo behind me. Could be wrong, but freaking thrilling. That uh, first couple minutes leading up to the beginning of the race is just unlike any other feeling. I'm drenched in sweat, I'm covered in dirt, but Feeling so good about this FFW, let's go. Hey man, better knock next time. So I've been fighting this battery all day and I left my jump pack up at the top or Alec grabbed it and uh, now we're just pushing the car. Thank you for your help, man. Hey, Appreciate no it. You guys remember Ben? He's coming right now to the rescue from race week. He's got my jump box. Right now we're just pushing it in line, trying to get up there. Yeah, dude, this is race week all over again. <laughs> all right, I think it's you and me this next round. Right. Are you excited? As I can be. It's so fun, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a sweet dash. Visual gauges. Yeah, I it's, love uh, that. It's not the code of digital, but it's against electronic, so it's yeah. like a knockoff. I like it. They're, I like it. Great. What's under the hood of this thing? Small block. Nice. Well, good luck out there. Have fun. You too. It's such a thrill, it isn't is. it? It's yeah. the best. I grew up with my dad racing out here, so. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Welcome back. All right, thank you. Oh, go, baby! Guy. Yeah. Oh, 
engines and turbos. Let's go. real tough break situation i got two dubs won my second race but i'm either going up against that orange cr1 or a model 3 tesla so it was great racing but uh we'll see how the old fox body does i'm hoping she does better than we're hoping or thinking she will against a cr1 or tesla i guess you never know that's racing well man it's a real tough break situation for me <laughs> You want to give me a few car lengths to start it off? <laughs> oh, well, it's all fun. Yeah, it is. Hey, man, the car's looking good out there. I'm just happy to get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though it's a little warm out, it's still uh, anything to get out of the house, right? I love it. See you out there. Well, looks like I'm racing the orange CR1. I mean, I think I did pretty good getting through the first two rounds, but hey, you know, it is what it is. I know the car is going to be underpowered, but hey, you never know, right? We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get him off the line and just stay in front of him and hold him up. All right, Parker versus ZR1. I was looking at this see. car earlier and it was, I'm like, this is so clean. <laughs> Hate to see it. And then look at it. Yeah. It's unfortunate, man. That's, yeah. that's, hey, that's what you do. You build it, you race it, you break it. Yep. You build it again. Yeah. Saw that little, yeah. little puff of flame. Oh, man.
That's crazy. The CA was launching though. What's your take on that final race? Think uh, CA deserves it? I'm gonna sell my house and get a CA. There he is. Alright guys, well I lost in round three, best two out of three, but I tell you what, I was putting the heat on that ZR1, ZR1. I mean, I was right on his tail for that second round. Man, what? how much fun, this is a great car, it's got a short wheelbase, and uh, you know, I did my best, it was cool, we made it to round three, and I'm super soaked with that, especially with some of the super steep competition that was out here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, spectator drags at Freedom Factory, make sure you get yourself a ticket and come out and race next time. This is such a thrill. It's so much fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Later.